Soft skills are a cluster of productive personality traits that characterize one's relationship in a milieu. They are those personal qualities, habits, attitudes and special abilities that make someone a well-rounded employee and especially for doctors if they want to make what's often an awkward and stressful situation more comfortable. These skills can include social graces, communication abilities, language skills, personal habits, cognitive or emotional empathy, time management, teamwork and leadership traits. According to a Mayo Clinic study, patients have different ideas of skills that make a good doctor. They include confidence, empathy, respectfulness and thoroughness and being humane. While it's important that the doctor understands how to treat his or her patient, patients also want a doctor who couples his medical knowledge with aforementioned personality traits. Soft skills complement hard skills, that is, the technical skills, for productive workplace performance. A study conducted by Harvard noted that 80% of achievements in career were determined by soft skills and only 20% by hard skills. Many are starting to worry that the practice of medicine is becoming too highly technical without a recognition of the many emotional and behavioral dynamics at play. The single most important soft skill is the art of listening to our patients and colleagues. A simple act of leaning forward, having a smile, being empathetic and patiently listening to the patient before rushing to examine the patient will go a long way in gaining the confidence of the patient. Being empathetic to the patient's condition should be emphasized. We must communicate well with the patients and our colleagues in a simple and easy to understand manner. At our workplace, we are part of a team, be it a unit or a specialty clinic. We should genuinely encourage and support our colleagues. We deal with pressure on a daily basis and we should be able to handle it and thrive on it. A strong work ethic above and beyond in the care and service of the patient should be upheld and we shouldn't limit ourselves to a 9 to 5 job. Nobody wants to think they are being cared for by a novice. We need to project self-confidence in our abilities, no matter how experienced we actually are. Flexibility, maybe covering an extra shift or staying late, and effective time management are key elements to overall success. We should have a positive mental attitude. There will be difficult days ahead, but we should see the bigger picture. Like Teddy Roosevelt once said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care.